Hello, Amy White with Worthy Written Words today. I'm in my wide margin Old Testament in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 12. But today we're going to not start in our book. I'm showing this process here with three slides, but you are going to have four slides in your kit. So you're going to want to repeat this with each one, all four of them. So the first thing that we do is we apply a glue stick to this little flap on top of each side and glue it to the bottom panel so that we have these little squares. And when those are done, we're going to take one of the strips of cardstock and it doesn't really matter how wide or thick they are, you just don't want them to overlap. So we put them inside of a slide, hang another slide off of it and then fold it in on itself so that this little piece of cardstock is going to wrap around the original slide. And then we're going to glue these flaps to the inside of the second slide. So I know that that sounds confusing, but if you watch this video as many times as necessary, then you'll figure it out what, how we are attaching these slides together. And you're going to do this with all four of your slides. So here we're going to do the exact same thing again. And I think that this is one of those times where the video itself explains it much better than my words are. So I'm going to put some music on and you can see how I do it uh, again with this third slide. Once you've accomplished this with all four slides, we're going to attach this pull tab to the very top one of your slides. And here I'm using a glue stick, but it didn't really hold it as tight as I'd like. So later on in the video, I replace that with double-sided sticky tape. Now I'm going to add the stickers to the top three slides and we're gonna leave the bottom, the fourth one blank because it's going to be hiding behind the camera at all times so no one's going to see that one so the um, blessings from the Lord goes on the bottom then the picture of Jesus is in the middle and then don't forget past is on the top so now I'm going to put together this fourth uh, and final slide that is going to go underneath all these other ones that I've already created Now using a pen or a pencil, I've made a mark on my scriptures where I want the slides to start showing because I can see where my camera is going to be, where they need to line up so that they pull out where they're supposed to. So by making those marks, I'm now going to add double sided craft tape to the very last slide and this is going to um, hold it in place on my scriptures so you can pull it out and the whole thing doesn't just come off the page. So we are going to attach this to our margin as the very first thing before we add the camera on top of it. Now in order to get the camera to sit where it needs to, we're going to have to add two layers of the 3D foam square so that it sits up high enough on your page. If you don't want it to be this much, um, then you could just attach the slides on your page as a fixture and then they won't have to move and take up that much space. But if you want it to move, then um, I'm first cutting them in half, uh, the 3D foam squares on either side. And I'm actually going to leave one side 
uh, completely open so that there's enough wiggle room and it's not so rigid for the, the slides to go in and out. So um, here I've got, you can see how I've kind of lined them up around the bottom slide because everything that's sticking up is got to go down inside the camera. And this one that I'm taking the top off right now, I actually removed the entire thing because it's just there's, I don't want anything on that side because it's just too strict and too rigid to get that in. And it's a little bit awkward with the slides. So I'll eventually take that right there. I take the whole thing out. So, and then I'm gonna add the double layer of the foam squares. Now I'm going to be adding these forget-me-not flowers into the footnotes and uh, at one point there is this little camera flash that I thought I would add but I end up taking it out because it just kind of is too much and doesn't really go with the rest of the vibe that this page has so uh, you can ignore that. But I'm putting them on the footnotes and then I play around with putting some in the bottom left corner of the camera and I'm going to put some, save some of them to put at the top with my tab. Now I'm going to put this quote sticker above the camera and this is so that you have something there while the slides are down inside the camera. If you're going to be putting the slides on permanently up, then you will have to find a new location for this. Now I'm adding the washi tape to the tab and applying that to the top and then I'm going to also uh, glue that tab down with a glue stick to keep it in place better. And then I'm going to add some of these stickers up by the tab. I'm using a blue glaze pen by Sakura. You can use any pen or marker or highlighter that you have in your collection. And I am highlighting verse 12. And that is the final step to this layout. I hope you guys liked learning how to make these pullout slides. Be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of our video releases. And we will see you guys next time.